Hey everyone, Joe here. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that uh, usually stop by to say hello, hi. I hope everybody's doing well. It's getting close to spring. I think we're about 20 something days away. It is about, uh, it's February 25th today. So um, it's closing in. And um, I'm starting to get some of my stuff together to transition the house into its spring decor. Uh, so today what I'm going to show you is um, actually something that I just I just happened to fall stumble on it today because um, I was up in the attic and I was going through some things and um, I wanted to get rid of uh, a few things and there was a lamp up there that my parents had in their house. It's got to be uh, I want to say from the early 70s that they bought this lamp and it was very ornate, remember we're Italian, it was very ornate, it had a gold bottom, and then it had a marble top, and then it had more gold work, and then a, you know the big shade on the top, uh, but the lamp hasn't been working right, um, and it's been up in, in our attic for you know like 20 something years now, uh, so I thought it was time to get rid of it, and actually, you know, I started taking a taking it apart because it was very, very heavy. And then I was thinking, oh, why am I going to throw this away? This is ridiculous to throw it away. I can use parts of it and uh, actually remember, still remember, uh, you know, uh, another thought from, from my mother and father. Uh, so the, the marble tabletop, I'm going to do something with that. I'm not really quite sure. But what I have right down here is actually the part of the lamp that was on the bottom. That was at the, there was a wooden base, a very, very shiny lacquered wooden base on this. And then this piece was on there. And then the marble table was here. And then these pieces were up on top leading up to the lamp. So I started looking at it and I was thinking, hey, you know what? I could probably make this into two really neat looking candle holders. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this as the base of one of them. And then I'm going to put this on top and make that one candle holder. And then I'm going to use this, which was all on the, the base of the uh, table. And I'm going to use this for the other candle holder. So how neat is that? I, I'll have these two candle holders rather than a lamp that's, you know, sitting up in the attic that I don't use anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting this out because this, um, I mean, you know, this, this gold is just not doing it for me. And in fact, if this works out the right way, I have two lamps in the living room. These are going to go in the living room. I have two lamps in the living room that I'm planning to paint out the same way. So let me get my paint together and I'll show you the next part. Hold on. I have to walk around to shut this off. So, so far what I did was I painted these black. I just, I just used this. I was going to spray paint it, but I had this and it was just easier. I, you know, it's raining outside and I can't go outside and do it. Uh, so I painted these pieces all black. I'm going to go in again and touch them up because there's, there's so much like scroll work and everything. I, I don't know if you can really appreciate it through the video. Um, and while, while it's drying, I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm just going to like brush on another color or if I'm going to highlight all of these leaves. Um, I'm figuring it out now. And as soon as I figure it out, you'll know too. So I decided I'm going to make them silver. Uh, so I use this uh, CoverMax uh, Ultimate Coverage Metallic. And you can see I did one right here. But while it's still tacky, I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to try to uh, take some of it off on these, um, you know, these areas here. All right, so I ran out of my black paint, so I act, I had some black spray paint. So what I did was I put a little bit on this uh, rag here, like you can see, and then what I did was I just started brushing on a little bit so that these uh, raised areas would be highlighted a little bit so it doesn't look so stark. So I'm going to continue to do this until I'm happy with it, and then I'm going to go to the opposite one. Okay, so here's a side-by-side. -side. You see I toned down using the black. 
here it is without it, and here it is I put it on. So I'm going to let that dry for a little while. I'm going to do this other one, and then I'm going to see where I want to go from there. Now, I had these glass plates, and what I did was I spray painted the bottom of them, and I'm going to, you know, put a little bit of black, and I'm going to use these to put up on top to hold the candle. All right, so I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to put a little bit of black paint on the rag, and I'm going to brush it onto this other um, handle holder. Okay, so my next paint project are the bases of these lamps. And actually, these are my grandmother's lamps. And um, they're, uh, I want to say, they got to be 50 plus years old. And they have this gold finish. And um, I'm just not, you know, I'm just tired of them. We've had them, uh, you know, since my uh, grandmother passed away. And um, she passed away in 1994. And uh, we've had them since then, and I've, you know, resisted from, from painting them, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do silver, and then I'm going to highlight in the black, because I want all of this. In this living room, I want a lot of the uh, more silver tones, although there might be a few gold things. I mean, you can mix metals. It doesn't matter, but um, I would like to make the, to update them, I think, with the silver. All right, so I removed the shade and I took out the light bulb and I used painter's tape to, um, you know, make sure that no paint gets in here. And even on the uh, little knob that turns the light off and on, I did that. And then down at the bottom here, I just taped a little bit of the cord because I don't want the cord to get silver either. So um, it's all ready. Now I left the harp on because I want to get this silver as well and also the uh, you know the little finial at the top, I want to make sure that that's silver. So this is ready for spray paint now. Okay, so I painted, uh, I spray painted the lamp with a silver metallic spray paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put black all in, in these spots in here. Uh, I mean, if, I would, if the lamp was just, you know, like a solid lamp, I, I would probably just leave it this metallic color because actually it's really nice. It's, it's you know, modern looking. It's, you know, it's like a grayish. It's not that bright, bright silver. But uh, because the lamp is a little bit ornate looking, um, you know, technically speaking, it would have these more darker marks in here. So simply what I'm going to do is um, I just have this, I, I bought this paint from Dollar Tree. It was just a dollar. And um, it's a little bit thick, but I don't want to water it down because it, it, it comes off so quickly already. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going into these grooves and in these grooves. And simply what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, let me show you a little bit here. See, I'm just going to do like that. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do these in here like this. And then with this rag, I'm just going to come back in here and blot it a little bit just so that it, I don't know if you can see it, um, just so that it looks like it's kind of like uh, tarnishing a little bit, I guess, but um, it gives it a more realistic look, you know, a more um, how it was originally, even with the gold, it had the same thing. So I'm just, again, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to blot and as I move up, I'll show you a little bit more. So I got this down in here and then just over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a couple of streaks in here and then I'm going to rub it out. I, I don't want it like to really hang out that much, but just that, you know, I, I don't even know if it's picking up that great on the on the video, but you see it, you know, it just kind of like gives it more of a, it softens up that silver so that it's not so bright. So then the next thing what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to come in here right in, in here, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put the black in. And I'm not even being extra careful because it's not supposed to be perfect. It's, you know, uh, if you have anything that's a little bit tarnished, you know, it's far from being perfect. And it makes me laugh that I'm actually doing this because I remember one of my jobs as a kid was my mother used to make me, ask me, not make me, <laughs> Uh, polished uh, stuff that was, you know, getting a little black, you know, any of the silver stuff that was getting a little tarnished. But, um, you know, that's the look that, 
that I'm going for right now. And, um, you know, it's relatively easy to do. Okay, so then again, I'm going to come in here, right? I'm going to do right in this, in here, like this, and I'm going to rub it out. I'm just going to pull it, pull it down so that it takes that edge off of it. All right, I'm going to continue working up this lamp. So up to this part right now, so you can see now, I'm going to, up in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, actually paint in all of these lines and then with my rag I'm going to you know like blur it out a little bit because I, I want it I want to see it but I don't want it so predominant so same story again I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go right into this groove like this okay put some paint on there all right and then I'm going to take my rag here and I'm just going to Kind of like soften it out a little bit and drag it onto the um, the other part. Okay, can you see that? All right. So, yeah, I mean, it looks even darker on the video than it does, but um, it's this one right here. So I will continue that, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm moving on to the these lamps, which are on the mantel in the living room. They're a candlestick lamp and they were brown and uh, they had like a bronzy kind of a color and a dark brown and um, I wanted them to match everything else. So I'm going to use the same technique again here, um, you know, because again, they have all of these indentations and stuff like that. So I want to highlight that using the black. So the same technique again, I'm going to start down at the bottom over here and I'm just going to, you know, like brush this black on like that. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to take it off. And it just like kind of dulls it up a little bit like that. You know, it's as much as you want or as little as you want. And it comes right off. So it's it's water-based. So, um, you know, you don't have to worry. If you really hate it, it'll come right back off. And then if you really, really hate it, you all you have to do is just paint again uh, the whole thing. So once again, see like there's a little lip right here. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a little bit of paint and then I'm going to wipe it off and then I might have to come back again. You know, this metallic paint doesn't want to hold on to this acrylic paint. It kind of like brushes right off. So once again, you know, as much as you want or as little as you want. So I'm going to work my way up this. I don't want to bore you with that. I'll show you when it's done. So here is my uh, paint project for today. The candlestick lamps right here and then the two, my grandmother's two lamps that go on the end tables in the living room. And then the two candle holders that I made out of my mother and father's lamp. So um, I'm happy uh, with the turnout of them. I think they have a really nice look. They, you know, they're not bright silver and they have that, you know, kind of more classic look with a little bit of the black. Originally, if you remember, I painted these black first and then I put the silver on. It wasn't necessary. Uh, you know, just the silver spray paint first and then the black highlights and then you buff it out with the rag. So, um, I'm, you know, this is all going to be part of my spring decor series. So uh, here's a little bit of behind the look of a lot of paint. I've been doing a lot of painting. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, you can get some ideas out of doing this. You can, you know, refurbish old lamps that you no longer want or other things in the, in your house that, you know, you might think of throwing out and then you go out and buy the same thing again. So take a look at stuff in a different way or, you know, how to update something and you can save a little bit of money. Okay, everybody. So that brings us to the end of this video. It was great being with you again today and be look, uh, look for another video. I should be having something coming out relatively soon. Okay, everybody, take care as always, and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.